Hi everyone and good evening. Um, today I am going to discuss to you my research about uh, the development of semi-automated thin set mortar scraper machine with tile compartment. Okay, so I am um, engineer Mark Ryan M. Estera of the Mechanical Engineering Program of the College of Engineering from the University of Mindanao. Um, with the world's um, advancement and progress and evolution of the equipment and technology, um, the, observe, the researchers observe that um, there are no advanced way on, uh, there are no advanced researchers on how to uh, conduct the tile uh, arrangement or the installation of tiles on mortar. So, uh, the researchers decided to study on these particular uh, problems. Okay, so uh, problems arise uh, uh, when manual and um, when man manual um, tile installation uh, takes place is that or it is done. Um, repetition of installation takes longer time. When we do manual attachment or the uh, older equipment is being uh, used. And so reliance on manual labor would uh, uh, effect into a financial setback. So such as it would be more cost costly okay, for the end user. And when tiles are being exposed for a long period of time on the environment, or in longevity, um, it would somehow create a problem no, on its integrity. So it could cost into a crack or cracks. Okay. So uh, the researchers decided to formulate uh, the solution, which is to design and build a semi-automated tile mortar scraper with efficient and convenient tile storage, which is capable of completing the work faster no, than manual labor at a given a time. Okay. And to secure tile attachment so as to avoid cracks or even mishandling of, of the manual, uh, manual uh, insulation and to reduce the number of uh, possible, uh, uh, possible cracks when it is being exposed uh, on the environment. Okay. Now, um, the materials used for this particular research are this. Uh, we, uh, the researchers decided to do plain sheet. Uh, this has uh, its own specific and unique purpose purposes. And then aluminum, um, wiper motor, uh, wiper motor were used for a wiper motor was used for uh, the movement no? to give movement of the equipment and bearing as well the sprockets 12 volts battery so as to power the uh, the prototype and then DC motor um, the DC motor with 1200 rpm uh, was being used for the uh, for the vibration system so as to give or to exit the mortar on the uh, nozzle part and then chain as well to transmit uh, power and movement from the motor okay now uh, for the uh, input process and output uh, this power of the servo or a specific power of servo is being designed and the DC motor and then um, the weight of the tile compartment, the thin, se uh, thin set cement mortar, mortar was being uh, considered as well. So as uh, to design again the power of the motor that it could carry those parameters. And then um, the measurement of the linear lane cement limit. Okay, um, for the process, um, design of cement regulator and cement scraper powered by servo motor using SOLIDWORKS 3D simulation. So SOLIDWORKS was very helpful in analyzing the possible, possible movements through simulation or even uh, analyzing the 
and even analyzing the stress analysis analysis of the certain and critical parts of the equipment then fabrication of cement regulator and cement scraper was also uh, is also being considered on the process and then for the output uh, linear thin set cement scraper with dial compartment okay so to give an overview of uh, the process of how the prototype will work on uh, for the input um, the researchers used mo momentary buttons so as to give movement uh, the forward and backward movement of the prototype so it is powered by a battery 12 volts 12 volts battery and uh, once uh, it is being uh, set on a uh, servo motor will uh, the servo motor will uh, set on as well as well as this DC motor and uh, rechargeable battery is also being uh, utilized here for uh, to avoid the costly um, design okay now uh, for the methods and procedures firstly is that it is very really very important that you are to sketch uh, the, the researchers sketch uh, the entire um, aesthetic design or even the engineering design or engineering um, form of, of the uh, prototype and then um, after the sketching is it is being designed or engineered you know, through analysis and then this is why uh, this is how the this is when the the solid works uh, entered in the phase of designing and as well as engineering calculation was also uh, being considered no? so as to give a better output on the uh, actual no? on the actual uh, engineering design and after designing after seeing to it that it is uh, well designed and would go on with the proper standards um, fabrication took place after after the uh, whole uh, prototype was being built and fabricated uh, testing occurred so for the testing we have done a lot of the research has done a lot of of tests so as to uh, evaluate you know, the capacity the reliability of the said prototype so uh, for the first uh, phase again the uh, sketch so for the preliminary plan was carried out so this is how uh, roughly the prototype would uh, look and then after the sketches we have done the solidworks design so as again to get its analysis by way of stress analysis and simulation and then um, fabrication uh, took place after the design so this is how the prototype looked after and testing was carried out as well so as to check the reliability as, as i've said and then and the researchers researchers decided to uh, test through the time uh, the length lead is how lengthy or the dimension or the linear dimension to test the linear dimension of the mortar being spread out on a certain uh, certain uh, um, platform and then thickness was considered as well so as you can see here in the picture uh, we have a simple way of or we have shown here uh, the thickness of uh, the mortar so as the ties will be um, measured and be placed you know, comfortably and rigidly then accuracy was also being uh, tested and its efficiency so this is uh, after is the the results and discussions so for the results and discussions actually a uh, part of the result is the solid works so you we decided to um, integrate our design through solid works so as to get a better um, design and so as you can see here 
So we've gathered um, proof of how stress analysis was carried out. And then, um, so every part of those, uh, of the, the chassis, under chassis, or every part, so from, from the simplest part up to the uh, complex part of the prototype was being um, analyzed, okay, and simulated. Okay, now, um, after the testing was done, so these are just sample of these are just the uh, the summary no, of our uh, results. So you have on all the categories we have one, two, three, four, and five categories or areas of testing. Um, we have done fifteen attempts or trials no, to make sure that this is um, reliable or the results are re reliable. So for the time data test results, uh, this is the um, data gathered. And for the length, uh, length of, this is the length of the mortar being spread on a certain platform. Okay, we have uh, also decided to uh, use a certain length no, of, of, of the spreading of, of of our mortar okay and uh, thickness the results on the uh, thickness test of the mortar being spread out and accuracy on data on data so for the conclusion uh, the researchers comes to the conclusion that the semi-automated automated thin set mortar scraper machine is one sort of special machine that may be employed in the construction sector after reviewing in the literature and works associated with the study. In addition, it will contribute to time and finan financial savings and it is more efficient than the manual plastering procedure. So we have um, concluded that it is helpful for uh, more accurate, accurate work as well as uh, to save time and labor. The machine's output is great since it produces higher quality material and offers varied cement mortar thickness of 0.5 to 0.75 inches depending on the state of the floor surface. So the machine is more economically efficient than the manual technique for scraping since it is since it reduces the overall cost of the construction projects by saving time, labor, and raw materials utilized. So that's it for my short presentation and I am happy and honored to be asked and uh, and I will answer your inquiry after this one. Thank you and goodbye.